Manufactured by Commuter Vehicles Incorporated in Sebring, Florida, this electric-powered vehicle is said to be designed to provide safe, reliable transportation at a fraction of the cost of a gasoline-powered vehicle. The commuter car is powered by eight six-volt batteries connected to a six-horsepower motor. The car is being offered locally by Bircham Motors, and Joe Bircham answered some commonly asked questions about the car. How long does it take to charge it up? From a uh, complete dead cell to a full charge, it takes six hours to completely recharge the system. And how far will that take you? Uh, the factory says it will take you 40 miles, but after I've driven the car for several miles myself, I've found that the more you learn about the automobile, the further you can go on a charge. What kind of uh, driving conditions would you suggest maybe uh, to save a little bit more of the charge? Well, for an example, when uh, you see a red light is changing in front of you, gradually slow to a stop, and uh, then when you take off, you don't fully accelerate. When you're going down hills, put it in a coast position and let the car coast as much as possible. That way, I think you can get in the excess of 50, 55 miles out of a charge. Mm -hmm. The manufacturer says that with energy costs of only one and a half cents per mile, you need only wave at your friendly gas station attendant as you drive by. Bertram said the car can be plugged into any 110 volt outlet and costs about 35 cents to achieve full charge. But what about safety? The makers say the car has passed U.S. government standards. Built on a full roll cage principle, the commuter car is made of high-grade aircraft aluminum. By the way, the list price of one of these numbers is around $49.95. That's $4,995. Well, I don't really think this was designed to be a news car, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. This is Russ Geller for Tri-State Report.